Good afternoon, everyone. Damaging thunderstorm winds moving through Kentucky and Tennessee. Let's go straight to Storm Predator. We'll show you the radar out of Nashville. And the radar right now is showing us very clearly this line of storm stretching from just to the east of Owensboro, Kentucky, east of Hopkinsville, Kentucky now, moving through the eastern half of uh, Clarksville, Tennessee, and then further south all the way to Jackson, Tennessee. This is going to be moving into the Nashville area within the next hour, and it will have with it uh, damaging thunderstorm winds in excess of 70 miles an hour. There have been a number of severe weather reports with this. Let's go to Storm Lab. We'll show you this a little closer uh, in motion here. And you can see this line of storms racing to the east right now. Again, just uh, moving through the Clarksville, Tennessee area. Dixon, you're next in line. And then further to the south, uh, this line is going to eventually get into the Franklin, Murfreesboro, Smyrna areas. Hendersonville also under uh, the uh, threat of this with very damaging winds. We'll move in a little closer here. We can show you some of these individual cells along this line. Uh, we'll check the Clarksville area as this has just moved through there and uh, winds were reported up to 70 miles per hour as it moved through uh, the Clarksville, Tennessee area. And as you can see, this entire line is approaching the Nashville, uh, Tennessee area. Davidson County is definitely under the gun. And also not uh, right now uh, immediately threatening the Nashville area, but the south end of this line is really starting to get a life of its own, and we're going to have to watch as it moves into Hickman County, because this area here particularly concerns me. I've been watching this on velocity over the past 15 minutes or so and we have seen some signs of uh, rotation down there right now we're not getting as uh, high of returns but uh, the south end of this line has the potential of also producing a bow echo uh, with the potential for one of these storms to become supercellular if it breaks away from the main line so we'll keep an eye on that regionally we can show you on storm lab really all the energy this afternoon has uh, worked its way down into Kentucky and Tennessee along this line. We do have a little bit of a spin here where the uh, center of the front is, uh, right along I-70 uh, around the Terre Haute area. We will have to watch that for possibly uh, some concern about some rotation moving along I-70 uh, through the Crawfordsville, Indianapolis area. There's no warnings or watches up there right now, but that is starting to show a little bit more convective development here this afternoon. But again, our main concern right now will be the Louisville, Kentucky metro area, Nashville, Tennessee metro area. All those are in the path of this particular uh, line of storms. We'll pull back out here again one more time and show you this whole area is under a severe thunderstorm watch and uh, the north end of this line also moving towards Bowling Green is showing uh, very intense returns right now on radar which tells us we are getting some high winds and very locally heavy rains. It is through the Evansville area now and Owensboro, Radcliffe, E-Town, Campbellsville and Bowling Green in Kentucky all under uh, the path of this next as it continues to move towards the east. Let's take a quick look at stormreportsmap.com and or stormreportmap.com I'm sorry and we can show you uh, again this line moving through Kentucky and as it went through portions of western Tennessee we had 70 mile per hour wind gust uh, in some of these areas 65 mile per hour wind gust uh, powers out uh, in uh, some areas there in Tennessee from this and over in Kentucky 60 mile per hour wind gust reported in Ballard Kentucky with this particular line of storms and again you can see the communities here with uh, stormreportmap.com that are going to be experiencing the storm next and we can see that very clearly here on the regional radar as well as we were showing you uh, the view from Storm Predator flashing areas indicate very heavy rains and locally heavy uh, rainfall is possible with these. Uh, it's not going to last a long period of time, but as it moves towards the east, definitely be concerned for some large hail, probably some down power lines and uh, torrential rains uh, through that entire area. That's the situation as we see it right now. Again, mainly a severe thunderstorm damaging wind threat throughout the afternoon through portions of Tennessee and Kentucky, Nashville and Louisville under the gun next. I'm Larry Eastep in the Central Illinois Weather Network.